Welcome back to Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. This is the time of year that a lot of people get excited, not only for the turkey season, trout season. If you're a shad fisherman, I know they're coming up into the river already. And I'm talking about the Delaware River that separates New York, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania. And we have a friend in the Easton area, Rusty Held, who has taken us out and taught us and a lot of people how to fish for shad. We are in Phillipsburg, New Jersey. Uh, Easton is across the river from us. We are at the Free Bridge area, Northampton Street Bridge. Uh, we'll be fishing today, uh, probably where the Lehigh comes in, the Lehigh Confluence. So that's, uh, that's about where we're at. Shad come up the river to spawn. They have one thing in their mind when they come up, the males and the females, rows and the bucks. Uh, they basically, anything that gets in their way, they hit out of aggression. They don't feed, they just uh, hit the lure to smack it to get out of the way. They, they have one thing in their mind, they want to spawn and that's it. They did. They have nothing else they don't eat, so they, they run the trip from the bay all the way up through, all the way up into New, into New York. So let's just say I decide I'm going to take my boat out and I'm going to fish here. What are you looking for as far as the top of the water, or do you have uh, to know the river? You have to know the river a little bit yeah. to know where you're fishing. We have guys that come down here that hardly ever fish the river, and they don't, don't know where the fish are running. They just You learn it over the years. Right. Been doing this for probably 40 years. Have you really? Yep. Yeah, 40 years. So explain your rig. What are you going to do here? We're going to use a couple different methods today. We're going to okay. use downriggers for one. We're okay. going to use a diver plug, which is poor man's downrigger. Now this, this is simply a crankbait. A crankbait. You took the with hooks the, off with the hooks and a simple spoon. Now what are you using for at Just the end of the line? I was going to say bait, right? Just a shad spoon. They hit this out of aggression. That's Color matter? Some days. Some days it doesn't. It's, it's not, uh, some days it's silver, some days it's gold on the back, uh, some days it's different colors. Are the guys the, from short throwing those or are they uh, shad darts using too, right? using darts. Most of them are using darts. Okay. Some are using uh, spoons. So you're just going to let that out the back of the yep. boat and the, and the actual crankbait is going to take it down to a certain level? Yep. Okay. And the downriggers, the same thought process as like Lake Ontario, right? They yep. they drop it down to the level that you drop want it, it down to, run to where to. where you think they are. You play around until you find them. Different footages. Okay. The trick to catching shad: where are you going to put your boat? How do you read the water? Tell me that. We are looking for a basic channel uh, or a ledge. They run up along that in the uh, in the river. They'll school. We may sit there 15, 20 minutes, maybe half an hour, and then we'll bang them again. And then maybe another 15, 20 minutes, and we'll hit another school. But, uh, the schools have been spread out this year. We don't know why. Uh, if the quantity of fish isn't there or what, we don't know. But uh, they, they definitely are not like they were two years ago. Oh, oh and it's off. Man, you just can't get in them today. That is another fish lost. Oh, man. Wow. I tell you, that's fun though. It is fun, let me tell you. There you go. You grab it. You grab it. There you go. We got one on. Rusty's going to bring this one in. Feels like a good fish. Yep. What are you thinking? Three and a half, four pounds maybe? I don't know. It's hard to tell in the ultralight. Yeah. Well, you could see that silver when it gets close. Oh, yeah. That's a nice fish, buddy. Oh. Is that off too? Yep. That looked like a row too, did it? Yeah, did it? it was a smaller row. All right, well that's part of the game here when you're shad fishing. I, you know, guys will say I hooked up 25 times, I landed five. You're happy about that. Very soft skin on the side of their mouth. So that's like five that we had on, we've landed one. So let's keep going at this. We're eventually gonna put more in the boat. Here we go. Oh yeah. Maybe this will break our losing our losing it at the boat streak. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> wow, these things fight. Mm -hmm. They just fight. As I say, they got one thing on their mind. <laughs> they want to spawn. 
Anything that gets in their way. Okay, I'm just gonna back up here. We got this one? Got this one. <laughs> All right. Nice. <laughs> Another buck? Yep. That was in the hard part of the mouth. That, that was, you yeah, you know what? That guy. What a difference that makes. Let me yep. stick my finger in it. So, They're slimy, real slimy. So there we go. This one was in the hard part. We landed this after three or four misses. This is another buck. Yep. We're gonna get him back in the water, but what an amazing fighting fish. Let's get him back in there. Awesome. So if somebody wants to get a hold of you and learn more about your, your tackle supply or your guide service, what's the best way to do that? Uh, have uh, email. Rusty Balls Tackle at gmail.com or 484 239 4723 is the phone number. Uh, if I don't answer, leave a message, I'm probably out in the river. <laughs> here we go, right here. Go ahead. Go ahead. You got one on there, nice. Good stuff. Oh, a jumper. Here we go. She'll be able to do it now, buddy. She'll be able to do it now. She sees that net and... Nice, we All got right. this. This is a big fish. This is a big nice. shad. Nice, nice. This is a big shad, isn't it? Yep. Yep. Good job. Yep, nice row. Ooh, she's fiery. Wiry, man. Right in the bottom jaw, we aren't gonna lose her. Right in the hard stuff, so yep. show the camera here. You know this is a roll, why? It's fat. Fat. Yeah, you can see the belly starting to develop with the eggs, so. And what, you're talking maybe just three weeks ago in the Atlantic Ocean someplace, right? Yeah, three, four weeks ago. Wow. Yep. That's it. So. You are the master, man. Thank you so much. <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you so much, that's awesome. And off she goes. Thank you, Rusty, and of course, good luck this season. I know it's just kicking off, but I also got to remind you, he makes all kinds of lures, he sells all kinds of shad fishing stuff. If you want to get a hold of him, simply go to Facebook and look up Rusty Held. We're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back. <laughs> 